I-92 WLWI, it's Greg Thomas, a special guest on the phone, and I mean special joining me. It is Rudy Gatlin from the Grammy Award-winning legendary country trio, the Gatlin Brothers. Hey, Rudy, how are you? Greg, I'm great. How are you doing? Excellent. So great to have you on the phone. So what's new with you? Oh, good Lord. We're just getting after it. It's uh, been our, It's already been a, a real good year, and from here on out, it's just, uh, boy, it's, it's going to be nuts. But that, that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's... it's Good to be busy. <laughs> on the road. Hey, you're looking around your the news page on your website. I see you received a big honor from Billboard. Well, uh, was that on the, what was that on the? Uh, Greatest all-time country songs. The list includes Houston. Well, I saw that, and I'm, uh, that's, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm, that's, I think our 35th anniversary was this year or last year, and that's great. I'm surprised it wasn't all the gold, because <laughs> that was a bigger record than Houston, but we'll take it. Sure, well, that's, that's right. Yeah, I mean, so many big songs through the years. I mean, you could have oh, a bunch on Oh, just too many to number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. And you stay busy touring. And what's your favorite thing about performing? Well, it's uh, it's the enjoyment we get. We still enjoy doing what we do. Uh, it's, a, it's a pain getting there, pain getting home. You know, traveling is, uh, which everybody can understand that. Oh, sure. So if you, whatever you do in life, just get up early in the morning and go to the airport and go through all that, fly, go get a car, get your luggage, go to the gig, take a couple hours to set up your stuff, and then do later on that night, do whatever you do, and then go get in bed about 11 or 12 o'clock, and then get up and do that the next morning. Fly again, or whatever, or go get on the bus. See, it's that, that hour or hour and a half you're on stage is fun. It's what we do. We enjoy that. It's all that other time, you know, getting there and setting up and doing all that. That can be a little tiresome, you know. But, you know, people fight traffic going downtown to go to work, so we fight traffic going to Poughkeepsie or where, where we're going, <laughs> but uh, it, it's very enjoyable once we get. I'm gonna turn out. Once we get to doing what we're doing, it's great. And you've been touring. You've been all over the place, and I bet you've got all kinds of stories. And I just want to ask one thing: What is the craziest thing that has ever happened? And I'm mm. sure that that's a loaded question because there's probably all kinds of thoughts floating through your head. Well, this could be. This could well, qualify for that. Golly. Uh, or just most memorable moment, something that happened that you'd still think about. Hey, well, you this know, is coming up on the 30th anniversary of the uh, earthquake in San Francisco when we were about to do the national anthem for the third game of the San Francisco Giants-Oakland Athletics World Series game, the third game, the infamous third game. Yeah. When they had that little, uh, it was uh, it's later on, it was October of 1989. So it's coming up on the 30th anniversary of that. That was kind of... That was a tragic but uh, crazy thing that happened, and it's we were stuck there for a while. We went back and did the national anthem ten days later, but it was, uh, you know, I'd never been in an earthquake like that, and I think that might have been the only one I've been in, and it was uh, quite a traumatic experience there for a while. But we survived it, and a few others, I don't know, good Lord. Uh, buses breaking down, <laughs> airplanes breaking down but buses oh yeah at the side of the road and, just sitting there you know <laughs> yeah. just fun stuff on the road like that air conditioning going out and you're stripped down to your skivvies you got on the old bus you could roll you could scoot the windows back you know you could slide the windows back in that old 4104 bus we had but uh the new buses of course the can't really do that, I don't think. But uh, and then and then the bees, the bumblebees come. Then you run through a high a bunch of bees. Oh yeah, that was out in California. It'd be a scene in a movie. I mean, literally, we were sitting there in our skivvies and had the windows kind of the little engine had gone, the bus air had gone out. Uh huh. And I think the little engine, which there was always a, what they call the Onan, the little engine, which runs some other roof mount. If, I don't know if we had roof mounts or not. We didn't. It was just the bus air. So when the bus air goes out, that's it. Slide the windows back, go through a beehive, and there's bees all in the bus. Oh, oh. man, it was, it's a funny scene. You probably have some stories about fans, too. Well, you know, sometimes we say, well, boy, I wish we had a million of them just <laughs> like them, you know. Uh, a little exuberant, but that's fine. We, You know, I'd probably get the same way. I'd probably get a little giddy and a little, uh, you know, around some of my musical heroes if I was just all of a sudden, boom. For sure. But we've been around enough big stars, you know, being big stars that we are ourselves. And, That's right. And being around, you know, big stars all the time. It's kind of, but at first, you know, years ago, I was quite enamored by the whole deal and going, golly, we're in, we're in L.A. on the Carson show. I'm about to meet Johnny Carson. Wow, you know. So uh, it's, uh, I'm a 
I could I could be quite fanatical <laughs> at times meeting some big stars. Frank Sinatra, you know, first time I met Dolly, first time I met Johnny Cash, you know, we were just wow. Well, we're yeah. blown away too. So I mean, some big names you're talking about. Human nature. Them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're talking about some big names, and then you figure the exposure you get on something like the Tonight Show. It's that's big time. Yeah, that was huge. On a little side note, there, my hero was Bart Starr. Oh. And I know they're having a service for him in, in Birmingham yeah. that morning, and I hear he played at the high school there in, Mont- in Montgomery. He did. He did. He He's was a- my hero. I mm-hmm. love Bart Starr. I love those Packers. And I, I used to live in Tuscaloosa. I worked there for a number of years before I came down here. And uh, I was up there, and there was an event. And Bart Starr was in town because he went to the University of Alabama. So I got to meet him. I have an autographed ball and, and a picture with me shaking his hand and everything. So, yeah, I, I hear you. Bart Starr, first-class act all the way. and Love him. Definitely a legend. I-92, it's Greg Thomas talking with Rudy Gatlin of the Gatlin Brothers at the Impact Sunday night, 5 o'clock show. Tickets available now. So, Rudy, what should we expect from the big show? This Sunday night. Well, we're going to do some hits. We'll throw in a couple of misses, you know, to make you appreciate the hits. <laughs> <laughs> you set them up that way. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll cut up a little bit, and I think we're going to have, uh, uh, I think we have video capabilities. I'm working on so many dates right now and prepping the shows for the dates coming up. I think we have video. We'll show some pics and videos and uh, of the career and show the folks what, you know, what we've been doing these last Woo, 40 plus years. How the time flies, right? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. honey, golly. Gatlin Brothers, the Impact, Sunday night, 5 o'clock. Get your tickets now. Some available. They're going quick. Ticketmaster for those with the Impact box office. And thank you for your time. Definitely, Rudy Gatlin. You're more than welcome, Greg. Thank you, pal. Come yeah. see us. For sure. Montgomery. Looking forward to it. This is I 92 WLWI.